now, Strictly Come Dancing may have finished, but dance fever certainly isn't over. Some familiar faces are preparing to put their best foot forward and all for a good cause. Our Daybake presenter, Sarah Kelly, and weather presenter, Alex Watson, are taking part in the North East's very own version of the hit show. It's called Come Dance and Dine next month. Yep, they will be joining other celebrities on the dance floor and it's all to raise money for St Oswald's Hospice, which is based in Newcastle. Well, in a moment, we'll be talking about how tough the fundraising challenge is for the hospice. But first, here are some of the dancers in training for the big event. Swapping the newsroom for the dance floor, Alex Watson and Sarah Kelly prepare for the Paso Doble and get on cue for the quick step. Along with their dance partners Cutso Bell and Stuart Hatton, they've got until February the 11th to make sure that their pirouette perfect. Sarah and Alex will be competing against other familiar faces from television and radio as part of the big event. This was the Dance Divas' latest rehearsal at the weekend. With just a few weeks to go until the big night, they'll be polishing up their acts as they get set to step out and sparkle. Well, earlier we spoke to Viv Williamson, who's the fundraising manager from St Oswald's Hospice. Oh, it looks incredible, doesn't it? It does. Unbelievable. Well, Viv Williamson is fundraising manager from St Oswald's and joins us now. Uh, Viv, this is a massive event. It looks fantastic. It must have taken some organisation. Yes, it's amazing. We're just delighted with it. It's just such a, a fantastic concept um, that I think a lot of people have been really interested in and the dancers have been fantastic and we're just delighted that we can host such an amazing ball and raise so much money for the hospice. Now, the dancers have put in hours and hours of practice, yeah, haven't they? They have done, yeah. It's, I mean, it's amazing, really, like this where they're at, really, with the dancing now after just a few lessons. So um, they've put the hours in and they're looking good. They I mean, certainly are. Yeah. Th this yeah. is just one event. You have all sorts of events across the year. We do. But, but th this is obviously one of your bigger events. How much do you think you might raise with this? We're hoping to raise about £60,000 from our Strictly um, ball. So fingers crossed we can do that. There are still tickets still available as well. So, so, so and to put it in a context, £60,000 probably keeps St Oswald's running for three days. Maybe, yeah, maybe I mean, three how much days. do you need to raise a year to We have to going? raise um, six and a half million pounds every year, and we do that through the generosity of people in our community. Um, we've been open 25 years, so we're just delighted, really, that there's so many generous people in the community that support St Oswald's year on year and allow us to care for people. Talk us through some of the services then that you offer at the hospice. Yeah, I mean, St Oswald's, a lot of people think that it's um, a place for inpatients to come, which it is, um, but we also offer so much more as well. Um, we have a huge day services um, where the patients come for complementary therapy and out outreach clinics, um, which is so important. Um, and we also have a children's <laughs> service as well. We take children from the age of, um, from right from being a baby all the way up to 25 years old which is a huge you know, benefit to them and their families as well. And briefly, I know that people have given up their time for, for this event, have, have volunteered, and you rely heavily, don't you, on volunteers? We at do, Oswald's yeah, team. hundreds of volunteers, and it's just a very positive place to come, and the, the feedback we get from families and from patients is that they're very surprised when they come to the hospice because it's such an uplifting um, place and it's very tailored to their individual needs. Viv, best of luck with this and Thank all you. your fundraising. Thanks Thank for you very joining much. us. Cheers.